Best known for his role as Captain Picard on Star Trek The Next Generation. I love saying that name, Captain Picard. He'll be performing a one-man adaption of A Christmas Carol on Broadway from December 15th uh, to January 3rd. Uh, please welcome Patrick Stewart. It's nice to finally meet you. I, I enjoy your work and... Uh, uh, I'm looking through TV Guide, and I see you were named... Uh, uh, now, you're from England, so it must seem very funny to you to get an award in America like Top Turn On. <laughs> of England, you have the Queen's thing, and you have these sort of be knighted, and here you get Top Turn On. Mm -hmm. did, did it seem funny to you? Was that odd? It was unexpected, and for a long time, I, I tried to be modest about it when people asked, how does it feel? In fact, the term was bodacious, oh, which, does, which doesn't appear in my dictionary. <laughs> uh, <laughs> And uh, I said, well, you know, uh, really rather surprising, and I, I didn't expect it, and I, I, I really don't quite know what it means, and I'm a little embarrassed by it all. Actually, it felt great. Oh, good, good, good. very good. And I suppose when you go back, so you go back to England, you say it's named after Thomas Bodacious, an American... Esquire. Uh, Esquire, mm -hmm. yeah. Now, you guys, this is almost hard to believe. This is the sixth season now, huh? Yes, it is. We're... we're, in, we're, we're... We are tonight wrapping our 142nd episode. Well, now how many of the others did they do? How many of the original? I think 73 or 70. 79, look at 79, man. <laughs> yeah. 79. Never second guess a Trekkie. Oh, no. Now, this is, it, it must drive you batty, though, I imagine, because people, I, I mean, I know you do many other things and play many other roles, and people must always come up to you and ask you various questions about the Enterprise and the bridge. Uh-huh, <laughs> uh-huh. They, yeah, they do, and when they say, um, uh, uh, Mr. Stewart, exactly how fast is uh, warp 9.3? <laughs> and I will say, how do I program my VCR? <laughs> um, but for the most part, that, that recognition has been very pleasant, although at times it creates some unexpected situations. And uh, this, this spring, I was one of the few actors actually filming in Croatia. The, the, the shooting was several right. hundred kilometers south of us, but we were filming in Zagreb. You worked there, man. It was an interesting experience, um, the kind of thing that you usually read on the front page of the newspapers, right. and we were there. And one Sunday night, I went to a restaurant in the old part of Zagreb, which was in a converted monastery. Stone arched cellars and very somber looking waiters and the maitre d' in tails and he looked like he looked like Christopher Lee in one of those early <laughs> Hammer movies, you know? Yeah. And uh, he showed us to our table very, very formally, and we sat down, he showed us the wines. Great wines, by the way, in Croatia. Dalmatian wines are sensational. And uh, my companion said, you know, there's something to be said for being here because these people are so busy reinventing their country, yeah. they don't have time to watch TV. Nobody has an idea who you are. How relaxing. We'd ordered two salads. And a few moments later, <clears throat> uh, Christopher Lee appeared with these two salads, put them down in front of us, and sitting in the very center of each salad, made out of cucumber and peppers, was an exact replica of the Enterprise. Oh. And... <laughs> Not a word was spoken, and we had our meal, and we went, and good night, sir, good night, been most pleasant having you here. Now, that is class. Oh, that's very class. On the other hand, a few nights ago, I was, I was picking up some money at one of the uh, Versatella machines, right, right. you know, late night, and it's always a little dodgy. I don't like getting money on the street after dark. Right. And so I always look over my shoulder to see what's happening, and this particular night, the car park was deserted, just my car. Another car came in, cruised very slowly past me, and I had my eye on it, then it stopped and my heart began to go pit a pat. Then it reversed like this back towards me. And the machine, I can't get the money out quick enough. You know, and I'm getting all the wrong keys and I'm getting it in Spanish instead of English. Yeah. And, uh... <laughs> getting pesos. pesos. <laughs> and I'm trying to shove the pesos back in. Right. And, uh... <laughs> and I'm keeping my eye on this guy. And then I see the door slowly open just as my money comes out into the hole. And I'm trying to hide it inside my pocket. And I turn around thinking, Patrick, this is the moment. You're in America, you're gonna be mugged. And the guy, the guy stood up and he said, uh, big, big man. He said, uh, Patrick Stewart, yeah? And I said, yeah. He said, uh, Captain Picard, Star Trek The Next Generation. And I said, yeah. And he said, 
I love LA! <laughs> now you're doing, uh, you know, I, I, wish I, I wish I had known this. You're doing a Christmas carol. Uh -huh. Because I'm a, a Dickens fan. I, I have an original first edition Christmas Carol. I should have brought it. You could have read something. Well, uh, we had a conversation about this backstage. Yeah. Now, Jay told me this. And I had a moment to say that last year, when we did this for two weeks on Broadway last year, it's a solo performance. And I had a note from the director uh, of the, um, the Pierpont Morgan Library in New York asking me if he could bring his children backstage to meet me afterwards. They're fans of the show, right. of Star Trek. Right, right. right. And I happened to know what they possessed in the library, and I said, you can bring your kids backstage if you will show me the original manuscript of Christmas Carol. So we struck a deal. And one morning, myself and the producer and the uh, uh, other members of, the, uh, of my troupe went to the library, and in a guarded room, the original manuscript was brought wow. in and placed in front of me for me to leaf through. I mean, literally, to leaf through, Jenna. J Jenna. 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 Yes, from Romulan 5, Jenna. Yes. yes. <laughs> So, uh, yeah. You don't even have to change your name. No. And uh, so the plan is I, to, to do a special performance, because it's the 150th anniversary next December, to do a performance, if possible, using the original manuscript. Oh, well, that would be good. That would be good. Oh, we got to, okay. We'll take a little break here, and we'll come back. You guys going to sing again? Oh, yeah. All right, terrific. And uh, Patrick Picard on Broadway, the 15th to the 3rd.